So I'd like to share sort of a review of, of a tool that I found and it's very popular. Essentially, it's a code editor and you can sort of use several languages. Um, but for this particular video, we're gonna use Java 8. Now, essentially what this does is it helps you visualize what the computer is doing in the background while the code executes. And it walks you step-by-step step while this happens and in parallel shows you what the computer is doing or how it's really interacting with what you type. So essentially we have a demo class and within the demo class, we have a main method which actually contains an instantiation of the fruit class. Now the fruit class has these two instance variables and then it has a constructor which sets the local variable equal to the class variable. So essentially if we if we say visualize execution, it should actually show us how um, the code executes and in parallel how the computer actually visualizes this stuff. So we're starting in the main method here on line five, which, it, which is why it says main five. And as we sort of, we can click next and this pointer here will essentially take us, um, it should take us to this constructor because that's actually what we're sort of signifying here. Um, and when we click next, it jumps straight to the constructor and it's carrying down these two local variables, um, which are which are flavor and name, right? And so it's saying, well, flavor and name um, are sort of uh, these, these parametized variables here. And this dot flavor equals flavor sets one to the other, right? And so these instance variables here, these objects uh, are essentially set um, to one another. So we do this and um, as we click next, we find that uh, as we move on to the, this keyword, we find that they're sort of set, they're updated. The values are essentially updated. And the return value is of course void because it's where we're not returning anything in a constructor. A constructor doesn't have a return type. So let's go and work with another example here. Um, so we have, we have again, the same code editor, of course, working with Java and we've declared an array here. Now a very simple example, we've declared an array, we've declared an initialized an array. And essentially we use a for loop um, to sort of iterate through um, the length of the array. And as we do that, we'll print out each, um, we'll print out each element at the particular index. So as we visualize our code again, we should find that um, it walks us through this entire process. So here we're, we're again, we're in the main method on line seven. And as we click next, it takes us to this line. Um, and as we click next, so an array has been created, which actually references three, um, three boxes, so to speak. And the indexes of course start at zero and it fills those indexes with elements that we've sort of initialized here. Now, as we click next again, i is equal to zero, of course, and it will actually execute what's inside. And after we execute this line, we print out four. And now, again, coming up here again, i is then initialized to uh, one, and then we print out another element, and then i is, I is sort of initialized to two because we're incrementing i by one each time. And so doing this sort of prints out what we'd want. So this is sort of a good way. And why I actually have this other array here is actually to show you that if we have, if we have more complex code, um, then we can actually, it, it would work the same way. So if we visualize the execution now, essentially we should get, um, we should get two references, right? So we're in, we're in line seven in the main method and we reference, um, the computer essentially creates these, these boxes here um, and then new array creates another box. And so we could do this um, essentially for as many um, arrays as we create. So I think this is a, I think this is a good tool here. And um, just for, uh, you know, community purposes, you can generate a permanent link and um, you can send that to someone else um, such that they can actually access this particular piece of code and actually work through it if they wanted to.